Good morning, sis. Right now, your girl is headed to Starbucks. Yes, ma'am. I'm not getting any coffee. Y'all know, if you keep up with my videos, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of coffee right now. But I did drink my coffee this morning. I've been having to put like ice in it to like water it down a little bit because I have not been liking the taste of coffee. If you know, you know. But I'm headed to Starbucks right now because I really miss the days that my mom and I used to go to Starbucks every single morning. And we used to get the dragon fruit refresher or the strawberry strawberry refresher with lemonade in it and light light ice why am i stuttering so dang much y'all know your girl be talking so fast sometimes that my words get fumbled up like crazy but anyway i just drove past my dermatologist i'm gonna speak on it in a minute but yes ma'am so i'm going to starbucks right now to get my mom and i some refreshers i'm gonna get the strawberry ones we used to get the dragon fruit ones all the time we were bigger fans of the dragon fruit um than the strawberry but right now i want the strawberry and see she says she wants the strawberry too so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. One time a Starbucks employee snapped on us because freaking he used to make our drinks and he was making them with extra lemonade, but he wasn't telling us that he was making them with extra lemonades. We were just a regular customer every single morning. So I guess he started putting extra lemonade in it. Well, one day he wasn't there. So our lemonades did not taste super sweet. So we were like, hey, like this isn't really how we get it. Can we get more lemonade? We come back another time and it's still not made the same, but he's there and he was like, I just wanna let you guys know that I always put extra lemonade in your stuff. So the next time you come, make sure you ask for extra lemonade. I'm like, boy, how was I supposed to know? I'm like, boy, how the heck was I supposed to know that you're putting extra lemonade in my dang drink? You didn't put that on the little transcript for seat thing okay dude just walked in front of my car like yes he wants to die today he says screw my life i don't want it <laughs> i'm just playing but anyway girl i'm in the starbucks parking lot um or in the drive-thru getting my little drink i'm super excited i just drove past my dermatologist i had my dermatologist check up the other day and um i think i just take things wrong sometimes i know the lighting is so bad y'all do not mind this little scar right here oh my gosh y'all i have underneath the skin pimples that will not go away unless i extract them and my skin is so soft right now that when i went to extract them my skin peeled off but hey it's, it's healing so well it's healing so well at least them under skin pimples are gone but what was i about to say i take things kind of the wrong way so initially when i went to my dermatologist i wanted to get on accutane but then i started to do a little bit more research on it and i'm like how about i try something before i get on accutane um because i know what accutane can do can do to the body i just know the side effects of it obviously i'm gonna do what i need to do but he said before we get you on accutane i want to try oral prescriptions and i want to try topical prescriptions so we're doing that right now i had my checkup with him he looked at my face he said and i'm gonna bring you back in this amount of time if you feel like it's you're not getting what you want to get and you feel like you want to move on to something that's more strong we're gonna put you on accutane if you come back in this amount of time and i have my appointment set and you want to do more we're gonna put you on accutane now for me i'm seeing a lot of improvement from my products that i'm using right now obviously the worst before better has to happen and i mentioned that and he was like of course that's gonna happen so i'm gonna bring you back in this amount of time and you tell me what you want to do because we'll get you right on it and then he also put me on another medication for like my hormones and stuff like that so i'm on another medication but obviously i have to be eating with taking medications like this or i will be throwing up so every single morning i've been super responsible i have been making myself breakfast every single day i have a routine i actually ordered a bunch of groceries online which is so much better for me because when i get in the store i totally forget what i need so i've been ordering groceries online and I've been getting up every single morning and making myself breakfast and cleaning my house, making smoothies, just trying to get like a healthier lifestyle. So with that being said, I was discouraged the other day because I kind of took it as, are you saying that these are not going to work and that we're going to have to get on something else? Um, and I just kind of was back at square one with the there's no hope kind of thing. I don't know why, but I was just really upset and kind of sad the other day and I just cried and cried. Uh, because you guys know that the just the the effects that you know acne has brought into my life like the negative effects that it has brought into my life but i know that it's a part of my journey um and i know that one day it will be gone and i am seeing a lot of improvement with this product and i believe that it will work um but if not accutane will be my next move and it's just you know something that i have to just get over and just get on but he did give me another medication so that around my period when my hormones are a little bit different i won't break out from it it'll like control my hormones and stuff like that so we'll see i'm gonna up my dose in two weeks but he only wants me to take one of that pill because the first pill is actually already very strong and then the second one to add something on can be a lot for my body to handle so i gotta make sure that i always have food in my stomach that i'm eating healthy and then i'm following instructions because girl that's my life right now but anyway 
I'm gonna decorate my living room today. I really just need to call Jordan and tell him that he needs to take me to Myers because I need to get cleaning products. And Jordan and I went to Myers the other day and we bought a bunch of snacks. And I went into the cleaning section, but I was just like, this is just too much for me right now because if I get to this dang cleaning section for real, for real, girl, I'm going crazy and I'm buying all that I need to get. So I honestly should hit him up today and ask him um, to take me to Myers so that I can pick up all my cleaning products because I'm running low on cleaning products because I've been cleaning so dang much. I want to get my living room done. My mom needs to start drinking some dang coffee. So I want to go to Target today and buy her a Keurig because she needs a dang Keurig. Keurigs make life so much easier. So I want to buy her a Keurig. My little brother, he's been busy all week with school and sports and he's been moving everything out of my old room in my mom's house over to my house, which has also been a hassle for me because I've been organizing for days, you guys. I'm so exhausted getting everything from my room to my house and getting it all organized. My brother did all the hard work. The agreement, not really an agreement, but he was like, you better take me out. You better take me out to eat. You better give me some steak, burgers. I'm like, so I need to fit all this stuff into my schedule. I need to go home. I need to clean because last night I cooked this super nice meal. It was like kale, shrimp, tomatoes, and lemon and spinach. And then I made like some sauteed potatoes or whatever. It was really good, but I have to clean up that mess. And then I'm going to make myself some breakfast. And then I'm going to invite my mom over. So we'll have my mom come over, invite her over so she can help me with my living room. And I don't know what the heck else I'm going to do, but I'm going to stop by my mom's house real quick to drop her off her little drink. Yes, ma'am. I'm about to pull up and place my order one second. I'm just gonna get Venti's. I used to get Trenta. I was a big dog. Oh, the sun, Lord. Good morning. What can I get started for you today? Good morning. Can I have two Venti um, strawberry refreshers with lemonade and light ice? Light ice. Okay. Anything else for you today? That's gonna be it. Thank you. Can I get your name? Chloe. All right, Chloe. We will see you at the window. Perfect. 11:13. Thank you. Also, your girl needs to stay the heck up out the sun. If I didn't need to stay up out the sun before, I need to now because let me tell you something. I just found out, first of all, my skin is very sensitive to this product because it has exfoliating properties, so my skin is very sensitive to the sun. So I've been screen, sunscreened up. I need to get a big old visor. Um, I need to wear a dang ski mask. <laughs> but, girl, um, what was I about to say? He just told me that the medication or the antibiotic that he has me on makes me sensitive to the sun. I didn't know that. So I'm extra sensitive to the dang sun. So I need to stay about the dang sun. This summer is not going to be a, ooh, summer. I'm not going on no vacations, girl. I'm staying the heck in. I'm not trying to age like that. I already did tons of tanning in my dang life. And I'm so glad that I stopped it when I stopped it because it could have got bad. I was addicted to tanning and it was an addiction and I felt like I was ugly without it. Okay, girl, I got my drink. Yes, ma'am. I'm super excited. I've been listening to this girl named Quandra Banks. I'm going to go ahead and link her YouTube channel down below. I love her Christian music. I love her music, y'all. When I tell you, I'm about to list off a couple of my favorite songs because she got um she blew up when she sang give me you while getting her hair done i'm not sure if you guys know about that so i love give me you by her i love we cry out i love you are i love worthy i love my prayer i love push comes to shove when push comes to shove hey i'm going all the way above the top because that's where i want to be uh because that's where i gotta be yes sir Ooh. Ooh, girl. I just choked <laughs> that's embarrassing oh that was embarrassing but it's good am I the only one that thinks like this I don't like people to have like the same thing that I have on if I'm in the same like area as you you sped in front of me just for us to end up at the same light I'm right behind you okay anyway I went to the dermatologist the other day and I was gonna wear my other North Face coat that's it's a it's an all black North Face coat it's not like this one um this one's super long um, and it's black on black where you can't see the North Face sign right here. But the other one says the North Face in white and I was going to wear it. And for some reason, I just didn't. I just ended up grabbing this coat and I walk in the dermatologist and the girl in front of me got the same coat that I was going to wear. I started to thank the Lord in my head. I said, thank you, Jesus, because you know, I'd have been mad. Like, I know how I am. I'd have been mad. Like, gosh, dang. I'm just so glad she was looking cute with her coat and I was looking cute in mine. But we was not in the same coat, baby. Okay. <laughs> This Beach Walk perfume smells so good by Replica. I get it at Sephora. I mixed it today with the Versace Bright Crystal. I forgot just how much I love this perfume. Mm. I haven't had one of these in so long. This is so cute and yummy and delicious. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. 
caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go
looking good, looking good. Yes, ma'am, I love having a clean kitchen. And I love this TV because I got a mount that comes this way. So while I'm doing dishes or while I'm cleaning, I can watch my TV. Look at all this space I have right here, you guys. Uh, my brother brought over my shoe rack from my mom's house. So I have so much more space, you guys. It looks amazing, I love this. I've honestly just been working on my house these past couple days, just making sure everything is in line and good. The office was an actual disaster, you guys. It was a literal disaster. My brother brought everything from my mom's house over here except for one bag full of clothes and then some products. And it was so bad, you guys. I had a whole room full of stuff over there. So I had to bring my stuff from my room in here. I have been literally so busy these past couple days. I've been stuffing stuff in this closet. I got my coats put up right here. So yeah, that's where I'm keeping my coats and everything. Everything. okay I got this super soft beautiful rug that my grandma gave me or bought me it is so nice and soft I love it my mom's gonna go ahead and come over and put all of these decorations up after I get done making my breakfast I also want to go ahead and put all those plugins in my walls so I'm about to go ahead and start unplugging all of these Glade plugins when I get done eating since I am cooking a lot more my house <laughs> wants to smell like food and I don't really like that but turkey bacon is obviously a healthier alternative and it cooks so much faster it's super easy to cook it tastes amazing but it also doesn't leave that nasty bacon smell in your house like that fried smell don't get me wrong your girl's definitely gonna go ahead and make myself some bacon one of these days but I prefer not to I prefer not making certain foods in my home because it really sticks to my clothing and it really sticks to my home and everything that's in my home so yeah I love chopped kale you guys it's so crunchy and good oh my gosh I love it anyway I'm gonna go ahead and make some eggs as well I'm not a big fan of eggs but hey I'm gonna go ahead and make these eggs in the same pan that I make the bacon in because it gives it more flavor Flavor. They do look weird when you get done making like your eggs and like bacon grease or whatever even though these don't really have grease But it's really good. I'm gonna get some cheese. Yes, ma'am Because I love having cheese on my eggs. I really don't feel like making too much So I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off with a smoothie whoever sent me this I never got a name But I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much whoever sent me this hyper chiller because y'all know I forget to make my coffee sometimes the night before because I'm a cold coffee drinker So it has to go in the refrigerator the night before sometimes I forget so somebody bought me this hyper chiller and it literally makes your iced coffee in a matter of like a minute or two it's amazing so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and make a smoothie i ordered so many new um fruit mixtures i'll use this one today and you guys know i always make my smoothies with cranberry juice so i have some cranberry juice in here not the cranberry juice cocktail but the 100 cranberry juice I'm trying to get healthy yes ma'am and it's so much easier for me to get my fruit in when i'm drinking it because it's so much easier to do so let me go ahead and get my little blender out yes ma'am i got this super cheap blender from Target. It was so cheap, you guys. It was like 25 bucks. They had $300 ones, $400 ones, $200 ones. I'm like, girl, get the heck up out my dang face. I'm about to go ahead and grab this one, this little cheap one, and call it what it is. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but let me go ahead and get started on this turkey bacon real quick. Let me grab a pan.
right, you guys, so this is my breakfast. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw a yogurt in there. I'm gonna drink this smoothie, eat my eggs, and eat my bacon, yes ma'am. My mom is heading over here right now. I have a couple things from Amazon that I really wanna share with you guys that I ordered a couple days ago, and I'm just really excited to see how my living room is going to look in a matter of like an hour. goodness mama you did your dang thing this is absolutely beautiful we are actually headed to target right now to go ahead and get a lamp for that corner it's gonna be like a gold lamp that comes over a little bit they have a couple that i'm gonna pick from so we're gonna go pick those out right now get some light bulbs for it this little blessed pillow is definitely one of my favorites i'm not a big gold fan you guys but it's all they had and it honestly came together to look very 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 pretty remember Chloe wanted the flowers yes so look what we did with the flowers we did big medium small so she still have her flowers you guys exactly she wanted, she wanted those flowers you know what I'm saying? yes if you guys keep up with my videos if you guys have watched the vlog that's linked down below i'll go ahead and link that down below we went decorating shopping or decor shopping and this is all that we picked out and now i'm on amazon <clears throat> excuse me and I'm getting ready to buy two of these um, storage baskets for my pillows because it's gonna match my couch. It's like a darker gray and it's gonna be perfect. I can put them behind the couch or I can put them actually right here. Actually, really quickly, while my mom was doing all of that, I was over here getting all of my um, plugins ready. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I'm gonna go ahead and put all around my house. They are in the scent. Febreze April Fresh, so I also have the matching wax melt. So when I get home, I have all of these prepared. I'm just gonna start unplugging these and getting the new plugins in, and we are in business. Now, let's go to Target.
Okay, so we have arrived to Target and my choice was between these two, but this one's not too tall. I feel like it matches my gold a lot better, but this one is the one that is making more sense. It's taller, it can light up the room more, mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like. This is definitely the one. For sure. I came last night and yes. saw the lamp. Mm -hmm. And she called me. Yes, and I was praying on the way here that it was still here. Yeah, because <laughs> she was she was gonna buy it yesterday. Yes, but I told her please don't because I want to figure out how my right. living room is gonna look before right. we pick out the lamp. So here we are. Here we are, and we're getting the lamp. Let's get it. <laughs> one at the bottom or the top. Now all we need to get is you a Keurig, some K cups, and some light bulbs. This is such a cute um lamp. It's like it a is rich beautiful. lamp, like for your bedroom. Yeah, when I have my mansion one day. That's beautiful. But honestly, that is beautiful. I really should get that for my bedroom. I think you should. I mean, Why? It's gorgeous. It's Do I really want they that? only have one. Mom, I have to get this dang lamp. Gosh dang, it's a hundred dollars. I have to get that for my room. That's gonna match my room so pretty, mom. Okay, so now we are looking for light bulbs and we're gonna go for the bright ones. Okay. You said energy efficient? Yeah, so are those reveals? Okay, so these work? Yes, yeah, so those are HD. Okay, cool. So light. that one needs three light bulbs and yeah, that one needs see. one. That comes with four light bulbs. So this is energetic. This is up, up. So it's going to be the brightest one. Okay, then let's just do that. Energetic, daylight. Yeah. They have soft white and they have pure clean light. Daylight. Yeah. Because I've been needing more daylight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just asked my mom if she wanted the gray one because her interior is gray. She said no. The pink one. <laughs> okay. Always. So I'm going to get her this super cute um, pink Keurig. So we got her super cute little pink Keurig. I'm going to show you. her. Absolutely. I'm going to show her the K-Cups that I use. They give me a lot of energy. And then we'll get a good creamer. You know, Brent's going to be like, let me use your Keurig. No. <laughs> he has a coffee pot. Yeah, but you have to replace the coffee pot with the Keurig. Where the heck are you going to put the Keurig? He has a coffee pot in his room. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. he's crazy. Okay, he's... Okay. But I'll share. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, they have... Oh, they only have the blonde ro roast. Okay. Gosh dang, it's so hard to find the dang dark roast. Um, Two times the caffeine. K-Cups. So they only have the blonde roast. So I guess I'll start my mom off with a blonde roast. So these should last her for 12 days. Let me know how you like these, mom. And then we'll go get you um some more. Okay. They only had the blonde roast. They didn't have the dark roast. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay, cool. So we'll just start you off with the blonde roast. I'm pretty sure the creamers would be down here. Yes, ma'am. So I always go for Starbucks creamers, um, but I'm going to go ahead and let her pick out which one she likes. This caramel macchiato one is not bad. The only reason why I don't like it anymore is because when I threw up, I didn't ever want to taste it again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one I'm going to get anyway. That's one you're going to get? Yeah. And let me know how you like the coffee. Then you just first. got shocked. You have, to, you have to go like this first. Okay. Before you grab it with your hand. Because... Yeah. It will shock you. We done? Yes, we're done. All so right. let's go home and get these lamps all set up. Let's do it, baby. And then I already asked Jordan if you take me to Myers. So hey. I have that all planned up as well. We are in business. Yes, ma'am. Girl, I don't know why the heck when I armed my house as I was leaving, I armed it as that I was here. So there were people in behind me while I was walking up to my house or my little apartment or whatever. And as soon as I opened up my door, my alarm went off so fast. And you only have a certain amount of time, a certain amount of time before they contact the central station and have cops pulling up around here. Anyway, let me put all of these at the max amount to come out because I want my house to be super strong and smelling good. Right now it smells like food and I'm not very happy about that. So let me go ahead and put these all over. But I wanted to really talk about um, just how much my mom believed in me and how she showed me that she believed in me and how she showed me that she believed in me. So when I first started my YouTube channel, around that time, we were moving to a new apartment and it was a three bedroom apartment. And um, my mom got the master one and then there were two other rooms. There was a very tiny one and then there was a bigger one with much more space. I had to buy more of these because I just forgot that I need another one in my bathroom. But there was a tinier one and there was a bigger one. Remind you, it was three kids. So the boys had to share a room. It would make more sense for my mom to give them the bigger room. But instead, she knew that I was going to need a lot more space to make content. She believed in me, you guys. So she sacrificed my brothers having more space and she had two teenage growing boys in a very tiny room because she believed that I could make something of myself. So she let me have the bigger room. I'm actually gonna go ahead and unplug this one because I didn't have enough plugins and I need these two for my room. So she gave me the bigger room, you guys, and my brothers were crammed in this little baby tiny room, but she believed in me. And I was actually able to obviously give my brothers their own rooms in the next place that I got my family. So, 
I just really want to say thank you so much to my mom. She was the one that bought me my first camera. She bought me my first laptop. And so she has always been my biggest supporter and my investor in everything. And so this was the laptop that she had bought me. Um, I just actually bought this laptop and some new editing software. But <sighs> yes, I just wanted to speak on that because I am extremely grateful. But my little brother just got here. He's about to go ahead and start putting together these lamps. your girl was looking mighty crazy but Amazon haul yes ma'am let's get into these packages so my mom just came to my house with these two packages because like I told y'all I get all my packages still delivered to my dang mom's house I don't know why but what is in here what is in here I cut my thumb the other day and I have not been wanting to get it while well, I gouged it I don't even want to call it a cut because it's a gouge so when I'm doing dishes or cleaning I have not been wanting to get it wet because it hurts so bad so I've been putting a band-aid on it and then putting gloves over it so that I'm not getting my hands wet but I got these in a size small because the ones that I have right now are large and my hands are so tiny y'all they do not fit in them dang larges so I'm about to try this small on oh my gosh they're gonna fit if my hands would have been any bigger though these would not fit but they are perfectly in tight fitting this is exactly what I've been needing okay perfect so I got my gloves yes ma'am I'm not really sure when I'm gonna be able to get my lashes full again because since my skin is so soft from my dermatologist the products that my dermatologist prescribed me my lash tech can't really put tape on my face because it's gonna rip my skin off so since she can't use the tape I think she's not really able to fill them in as much as she wants to so I don't know when I'm gonna be able to have full lashes again but I would much rather have clearer skin so girl I don't care this right here I've been waiting for okay so I bought this computer bag because I bought a new computer I bought a new laptop so I needed a new computer bag and y'all know I love gray so I went ahead and got me a gray computer bag oh this is so cute and here goes the little straps yes ma'am oh this is gonna be super cute okay I got a new computer bag yes ma'am oh my gosh this is the best invention in the whole entire world so I hate the amount of work that it takes for me to clean my shower so you guys know I love the old cedar mop I have the old cedar mop but their replacement heads are hard to find and they're pretty expensive so I went on Amazon and I found like these knockoff off-brand old cedar mop replacements yes ma'am and it came with three of them I've already used one of them because I've been cleaning my shower with my old cedar mop so all I have to do is grab the mop and just mop the walls of my shower I'll show you guys that when I have to clean my bathroom again but it's clean right now so I went ahead and bought a bunch of these mop replacements, well three of them, so that I can go ahead and mop my shower and not with a dirty mop head. <laughs> so I also bought my mom a bunch of mop replacements as well so that she can clean her shower very easy as well. But I've just been cleaning my shower with the old cedar mop and it's so easy. I know exactly what these are. Let me go grab a knife so I can open it up. I'm so excited. I just want to start having so much more cuter things in my house. From my cups to my spoons, my forks, whatever the heck it is. I just want a bunch of cute stuff in my house. So I feel super happy and comfortable in my home. You know what's the, I'm just now starting to realize this, but you know what the best thing to do with your life, not with your life, but one of the best things to do in life is to make your home as comfortable as possible because that's where you stay. That is your home. Home needs to feel like home. You need to be excited to be able to come back to your home. So whatever little things and home improvements you can do to your home, do it. Oh my gosh, these are the straws. So I'm gonna go ahead and link every single thing that I'm showing you guys today down below, except for the gloves, because who the heck wants to use those? But I bought the cutest mason jars, you guys, because I want to drink my smoothies out of these. Look how welly they're packaged. Oh my gosh. So I went through a lot of reviews to find these. I went through so many mason jars and reviews to find the good ones and I found them. So here are the mason jars. I'm going to go ahead and put it together. You take the cap off, of course. They have their own caps. It's going to look so cute. They have the big old straws for like boba tea or whatever you want to use it for. Put it through here or it's the other way around. My bad. You put it through here. I think it's that way I'm pretty sure and look how cute this is you guys look how cute you cannot tell me that my smoothies are not gonna look amazing in these dang cups you guys I am so excited or my ice water oh my gosh this is super pretty and beautiful I am so excited to go ahead and use these cups you guys okay perfect yes ma'am I have been waiting on these so when Jordan and I do our Bible study Bible study is super hard to find like good bookmarks that'll actually stay so what I use is I use these little sticky tabs and I stick them to wherever I left off and all you have to do is flip to that page because these stick outside of the page so I am super excited because I know Jordan's gonna be excited as well so that we can have these little sticky things to put in our little Bible study notes or in our Bible to mark our Bible so I bought these because these come in handy so well you mark wherever you left off and you go straight to that spot <sighs> I have to have these I use these every single day I use two a day or even four a day sometimes 
these little spoolie things it's so hard to find good quality spoolies there are a lot of spoolies on amazon that they bend well these do not bend these are very sturdy the brushes are very sturdy and they're the cheapest ones that i've found so i brush my eyebrows with these i brush my lashes i do just about everything with these and they're so amazing you guys the all pink ones these are the only ones that i found on amazon and i have found a lot i mean i have tried a lot these are the only ones that I actually like and it comes with 100 pieces and it's about 4 bucks so it lasts you a very very long time. Ooh, I'm so excited about these you guys because you have to pay so much money just for one of them. Not so much money but you have to pay a little decent amount for one of these at Sally's and I'm very picky with my foot brushes. I do not want the brushes that you have to like grip onto them. I want the brushes that have a handle so you guys know how I feel about having clean feet and soft feet. So I bought these because I only like the foot brushes with the handle because I have a good grip. And my other one is so old so I just really needed to go ahead and grab some more. So I grabbed a big old pack of these little foot brushes because I love to clean my feet. I'll go ahead and have these, all of this stuff linked down below. I'm so excited this is stuff that I'm actually going to use. And then last but not least, if you guys watched my How to Thoroughly Clean Your Behind video, you know that bio oil was included in that video. I like to really scrub my behind so it can get dried out. So I use this as a moisturizer and also as a fragrance back there. Go ahead and check out my How to Thoroughly Clean Your Behind video and you will know why I love this so much. But basically, to shorten it up, like I said, I clean my behind very well. So it gets a little bit drier. So this moisturizes it and then it also smells like lavender, chamomile, baby powder. It has a very nice smell to it. So I also use it back there. It doesn't irritate me. It works very well. You don't need that much. So this is the oil that I use back there and it keeps me fresh and it keeps me moisturized. You guys, let me know if you want me to do more Amazon hauls in my vlogs. Um, if you guys want me to buy certain things on Amazon and maybe try them, let me know, you guys. Go ahead and hit me up and let me know what is the deal because there are a lot of cool things that I want to buy on Amazon that I'm just like, should I? But if y'all want me to do more Amazon hauls, girl, best believe I'm about to go ahead and do it. Super quick update, you guys. So we have the lamp up it looks super beautiful it looks amazing you guys it is coming together so beautifully and amazing but it cannot reach this plug over here so we have an extension cord the extension cord is a very ugly green so Jordan is on his way right now we are gonna head to Myers. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two extension cords because the other lamp is doing the same exact thing my mom is grabbing her toolbox right now she's about to go ahead and put this up right there there because my dining room I really want to do kind of like a, ba a barnyard kind of look I don't really know it's gonna be cute so my mom has this super cute thing that she got me from Target I took the tags off of it um so she's gonna go ahead and put that up um but as far as the other lamp we had to put it over here because it didn't have space um on the other side of the bed because of my nightstand but it's going so perfectly it looks so beautiful it just couldn't fit in that little area right there so I had to move my Christmas tree over here and it's really cute my room is looking a hot mess right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get that all situated soon. Not today, but I'm just focusing on this little area right here. Okay, so we have made it to Myers, and like I told you guys, I have to buy more of these plug things because I didn't buy enough of them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the last two that they have. They don't have much left. They only have two more left, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these two. Um, What else did I need? Where's my phone? carpet powder yes ma'am i love the pet fresh one the pet fresh one smells super good i don't even have any pets and this one smells so nice i love it i have to have it so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those they always come in handy you could literally use carpet powder in one room and your whole entire apartment will smell like carpet powder that strong i let it sit for way longer than suggested though so that could be why what kind of sprays do they have because i do need more for breeze spray Extra I'm pretty sure the ocean one smells really nice. My brother had this one before, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this ocean um, for breeze fabric thing because I use these for my couch and it makes my couch and living area smell super good. But I also want to have the matching actual spray, and I see that they don't have that, so I'm gonna have to go for another spray. I guess I'll just grab this moonlight breeze one. I've had this scent before by um, Febreze. It smells really nice. I'm kind of sad that I switched over. Not sad, but I wish that the Febreze plugins had this uh, cotton cloud dream because it smells so good. I need these. Gotta have these. Y'all know I have this super easy Swiffer pad, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab more of these. These are so easy just to go ahead and mop your floor up with. And then I have been using this um, Unstoppables um, solution for my Swiffer Wet Jet, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Gain one. I like this scent, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Try something different. Oh, wait a minute. I love the Mr. Clean um, scent. This one smells really nice as well, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this one. Might as well, right? Shoot. Mr. Clean been in the game for a minute, so they gotta be doing something right. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> exactly. They've been doing something right. Ammonia. Look at this junk down here. Man, let me tell y'all something. I made a huge, huge mistake one time. Huge mistake one time. Back in the day, I used to experiment with cleaning. I would clean all the time. And I literally mixed ammonia and bleach. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen this pine saw in so long. Jordan, what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Okay. What just happened? What just happened? It just spilled everywhere. What the freak? Oh my gosh, I love this one. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and grab both of them because I never actually see this pine saw that name much. Even the one that was like Yeah, I'm grabbing that one. It was just unlo it was just loose a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab both of them. I need these two, they only got two left. And this pine saw smells that. so good, you guys. It's so strong. I used to clean my bathroom with it. It is absolutely amazing. The blue pine saw. Child. I've always been a super big bleach user, but lately I have not been reaching for bleach at all because it's just too strong. It gives me headaches. Obviously here and there is good, but it's not the only cleaner that works super good. It gives me a headache. It be, it be getting my clothes. And I just don't even want to mess with it. So I have not been using bleach like that. I've just been using stuff like Pine Saw, Light Saw, and it works. I love 409. 409 is very good. It degreases stuff very well. So I'm also going to go ahead and grab that. Let me start actually looking at my list. I know that Windex is on my list as well. I actually use Windex for my stainless steel appliances. I use it for my stove. I mean, I use it for all my glass appliances as well. Man, soft scrub is so easy. I'm not going to get the one with the bleach in it, but I'm going to grab this soft scrub. This stuff is so easy. Literally, all you have to do is just put this on your tub or on your sink, and it gets soaked up, and it cleans it very well, cuts grease. This stuff is amazing. I haven't used this stuff in so long. I'm definitely going to go ahead and grab more of this. This is old school. So I got my carpet powder, my laundry products, because I also off-camera picked up this gain detergent as well as these downy intense you guys know i always get the pink downy intense but i'm gonna grab the purple one this time because i'm getting so tired of the pink one i've been wanting to try out those method cleaners i always walk past them but i've been wanting to try them out only because with this antibiotic that i'm taking i get headaches really easy and all these cleaning products have been kind of giving me a headache so i know that method is more on like the natural side and i think their stuff like isn't as strong so i need to figure out which one i should get i feel like i've had this clementine one before and i did like it i don't really know how i would like the bamboo smell i'm not the biggest fan of lavender but i don't feel like lavender would be bad in like a cleanser and like a cleaner like an actual all-purpose cleaner so i'm actually going to go ahead and grab this lavender method cleaner and see what it's about so when i was shopping for the decor in my bathroom i bought two plungers instead of an actual toilet bowl cleaner and i have not been wanting to find like a toilet brush or whatever why did i just call it a toilet bowl toilet bowl cleaner a brush so i've heard a lot of good things about this toilet wand and it's really cheap they have a starter kit for $8.99 so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this it comes with the wand it comes with the caddy and the scrubbing pads i'm gonna grab this and i'm gonna grab another thing of the scrubbing pads because i know that it works good i've heard great things about it super convenient super easy so i'm gonna start using that for my bathroom and once you get done using the refill you just basically put it in the trash and it's just a simple thing like that i'm just gonna grab the bleach and blue because i feel like when i see the blue liquid coming out it's showing me that something is actually doing something you know so clorox came out with these new disinfecting mist sprays so it's not like a spray spray it's more like a mist which is super cool and they're like refillable kind of like how dawn has their spray soaps um refillable so i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this it's in the scent lemongrass mandarin and that sounds really nice i love the lemongrass smell and i also like citrusy smell so that will work it's gonna be like a fresh citrus i need to just go ahead and grab the refill of this citrus scent but they don't have the refill they only have the apple refill and i don't need the apple refill so i guess i will refill it with the rain scent since they don't have my oh wait a minute that is the citrus scent they got it in the wrong spot okay i prefer the apple one any day over the um citrus scent but hey lemon burst scent dude they have lemon scented dawn like since when did they come out with lemon scented dawn that sounds amazing i'm definitely grabbing that grab me that um that one all the way all back way there back. yeah i don't really want the citrus one i'm kind of getting tired of it it doesn't really smell good when you mix it with like the food smell mm. i guess i'll be trying out some new sponges today what are these everyday sassy scrub sponges that's cute put that in the cart i've been meaning to grab one of these these look super cool to like clean my um sink out with these look super fun i'm definitely grabbing one of these why is it not focusing here just film me i had one before but we were so poor we had to get the cheapest one and it didn't work at all like it was literally so dumb so cool i'm gonna go ahead and grab this and the refills yes ma'am gotta say stop that oh yeah. oh what is this i have never seen this spring and renewal i have to smell this really quickly because that has like a Macintosh kind of smell. That's really fresh and cute. I like that. I'm gonna grab that. 
We found trash bags. They have new trash bags though. It's so crazy that I get excited over things like this because this is not how I was a year ago. Okay, so they have cherry blossom. These smell super good. And then I also smelled the beachside breeze and I honestly cannot really decide between the two. So what does that mean? We're getting both, what the heck, duh. <laughs> We have my extension cords in here as well. We're gonna go home and get these extension cords all plugged in. Hold the camera real quick so they can get the real reveal. Okay, girl, I ordered some custom nails. I have another pair coming in the mail very soon. So these right here are my press-on nails. My dang finger looks so janky with that dang band-aid. But anyway, <laughs> these are my new custom nails. I'm gonna go ahead and link her Etsy shop down below. These are super cute. I have more coming in the mail right now and this is tempting me to go buy 10 more pair. See here are my other two plug-ins. And then if you come over here, I'm gonna be plugging in these unstoppable ones because I don't have any more of the April Fresh, so I'm gonna use these ones, which is another one of my favorite scents. Absolutely obsessed. I'm gonna take the ones that I have in my room right now and put them in the bathroom and then one right there, and then I'll put these ones in my room. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where could they possibly be? Here they are. Okay, so I got this indoor nine foot extension cord. Jordan, I'm gonna expose you. So we got into the dang store. And I knew exactly where the freaking extension cords are. This boy wanted to act like they were gonna be where the electronics are. Why do you think that, Jordan? It's not true. Where'd we go? Where'd we go? Where did you lead me to? No, even though I knew where they were. I, I thought that they would be where all the electronic stuff near the TVs, near the, the computer hardware and stuff. So why did you But think I wasn't that? thinking about that there could be another area where they have like the outdoor ones and everything with them. So I didn't think they'd be grouped together right there. Does that say outdoor? No, but it was right next to one. It says indoor? Yes. Next time, listen to me. <laughs> anyway, I just let him take me there, even though I knew it wasn't over there. I just let him do his thing. Mm -hmm. I was being so mean, too, when we first got in the store. I feel so bad. He took the wrong turn. Okay, let me tell you what really irritated me. He took the wrong turn to the dang place. And it's the usual turn that we take, so it's not like he just took a turn. It's the usual turn that we do take, but we were going to Myers today. So we were supposed to go straight and it irritated the crap. And so I was being mean. Well, I'm sorry, it wasn't nice. Mm -hmm. So I apologize for being mean to you. Is it illegal to take this off? I would do it. Cause they're gonna snitch on me. They're gonna call the police and send them straight to my house. <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Danger, electrical cords can be hazardous. Misuse can result in fire or death by electronal shock. Electrical shock. <laughs> electronal shock. <laughs> Shut the heck up! <laughs> Okay, it's not saying that it's legal. Do not remove this tag. It's tacky! Let me see what, if they'll take me to prison if I remove it. Remor warning, this product can expose you to chemicals. It says do not remove this tag, but it doesn't say that I'll get locked up if I do. No, I think that's them just trying to press you into not uh, taking it off. They want it to look bad. You didn't get that on camera, did you? No, I got you. Edit that up. <laughs> Ben, I'll point me to the cops. Here's the final finale, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. Ugh. Big body. Is it in there? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing at me! Gosh dang, you're a bully. Oh, it snaps. There we go. That is noise. Huh? What the? I did not know you was doing this. I'm so bougie, bro. I'm so go bougie. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me get the angles. <laughs> it look nice. I don't. Ah. Don't run up on me like that. <laughs> it says, I'm just like. What if somebody was like, "Girl, I'm gonna get you. Girl, I'm gonna get you," and they start running up like this? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, get back there, she can see me. So I can see her. <laughs> no, matter of fact, I'm going this way. Yo, what you say? What you say? What you Pull say? up on me. Pull up on me. <laughs> It's on sight. It's on sight. It's on sight when I see that. Pull up on me. What are you doing? They hold me back. Don't hold me back. Hold me back. Don't let me go. Don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody start running up on me like that, I'm gonna be like, oh my. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be like, I don't want none, bro. I really don't want none. You cut different. Oh, you probably Why already are you showed so the whole obsessed thing? with getting an angle of the dang thing? I already what? got it. I already got it. Okay. I already got it. Look it. I literally was having hornets and bees climb up from under here when I first moved in 
So the maintenance man came in and he caulked it all off, but literally had bees, roly polies, ants, everything crawling through here. So the ground is right there. Boom. Yeah. I've never used my dishwasher, and so I'm just gonna start using it for storage. Well, Jordan and I opened it the other day, and I had never opened it before. I opened it and it smelled like badonk donk. <laughs> it smelled like some booter. <laughs> so I sprayed it with bleach all in there, and then I don't have any dishwashing liquid, so I just put Dawn dish soap in there. And obviously, I mean, didn't I say that it might leak out because you're not supposed to use the dish, mm -hmm. the Dawn dish soap, or if you're going to use a little bit? And it was spilling everywhere, but we cleaned it up. It mm -hmm. has no smell anymore. But it was literally leaking so bad from underneath here, so bad. Yeah, it went like oh, all the way out. My gosh, and I'm so glad that I came out at the time that I did, because we would have been screwed. Hello, everybody. My name's Chloe Asmi. I'm my eyes maker. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Febreze plugin. Okay, make sure you get the ring, okay? Okay, honey. So basically, I'm going to show you how you do this. So this right here. If I say I'm the founder of it, they might sue me, so let me stop. These came out around 1993. My children... Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, we. <laughs> they all. So, these are gonna go in my room. Yes, ma'am, I love my room to smell good. Because they didn't replace my carpet when I first moved in. So, I feel like when I shower and stuff like that, when it gets steamy in my room, <clears throat> Like this weird smell comes from the carpet because the people prior to me, <clears throat> the people that lived here in this unit before I did, they had dogs. Put them on the max mode. If you're sensitive to fragrance, you probably wouldn't want to put it on the max mode, but y'all know I love hot shroom fra- I don't know why I put hot. <laughs> and that kind of sound like hot breath. Okay, so here is one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this one. Okay, and then the other one is over here. It's dark in here, you guys. I'm kind of mad because um, I've been using the April Fresh Fabric Spray and Home Spray, and I'm getting tired of it. And I'm just now plugging these April Fresh things in, and I'm already tired of the scent because I've been using the spray. Put one right here, and then put one in my guest bath, which I'm never in. And this is the last Glade plug-in I have in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh! Why do I have brand new bottles of Olaplex in here? Okay, I forgot that I had those, so I'll make sure that I get to those. What is this? Um, that's disgusting. What the heck is that? <laughs> that trash smells. Jordan. Mm -hmm. My neighbors are gonna be so jealous of my trash bags. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I literally did not even know that these were colored. If I would have known that, I would have grabbed the other ones because how cute are these? They're gonna be so jealous of these. Yeah, oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, I don't be telling them too much about my neighbors. I haven't really given y'all an update about my neighbors, but there's another plug-in I didn't replace. <laughs> Basically, every single time I'm walking up to my door, every single time I'm leaving, they turn on their camera like this. I don't know if they know that their light lights up when they're watching people, but they literally watch us all the time. I don't watch them. I don't be knowing what they're doing. I don't know what y'all doing. When I go back and watch my ring, I might see if maybe y'all come out your door. But y'all studying everything. That's real. If you know, you know. But to make words short, playing my praise and worship music, she had her boyfriend come to my door. Remind you, her boyfriend's not on the lease. It's not his place. She had her boyfriend come to my door. Why couldn't you have come to my door? So then everything calmed down. I talked to him. I talked to her. My mom talked to them as well. Boom, boom, boom. We cool. This boy, if y'all seen how my uh, door setup was, he walked straight through my grass, all through my patio area to get to his door. That started another thing that I'm not even going to speak about. But he was trying to be petty. He was trying to be rude. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, but I don't get men like that. Or boys like that. I don't get boys like that. That you're trying to intimidate a one man. Like, I don't get it. Oh, this trash smells like crap. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to take that out ASAP. Like, I'm talking ASAP. If there's another end to the end of that, I would put an exclamation point. You just left my camera sitting here like that? You just gonna leave my battery going like that, bro, bro? So this guy right here came to the Whole Foods on this street called, um, he came to Sesame Street right here, 1906 Sesame Street right there. If you guys can see it, what's your name, sir? What's your name? I need a name. 
I have the right to get a name. I am on mandated property. <laughs> I'm on philosophicals. What are you talking about? Get over here right now. This is. <laughs> <laughs> You can go get that dang trash out right now. Bye! It's not very bright in my bathroom because I keep it very, very, very dim. But oh my gosh, look at that! Jordan! Yeah, look at all the mold! I just do not be wanting to get mold on my dang toilet brushes and stuff like that, even though I try to get up there. But this thing is super dope because it's disposable. So all I would have to do was just throw it in the dang trash. This is so dope. Why haven't I had this? Oh, I'm getting in them spots. Oh, I'm getting in them spots. Look at all that mold. That's disgusting. My mom needs this. No, literally my mom needs this. She's gonna watch this video and be like, why did you get me one? Boom. Y'all, this junk just keeps going and going. My mom came over and dropped me off some medicine because I'm having some dang pretty severe cramps. And I was like, we still have this little picture right here. So I was gonna put it up over there above no, my vanity room. I had at home. You were? I just didn't know if it was gonna go together. Me either. But it looks, this boss girl thing looks so perfect right it's above there. so cute. It is so cute and perfect. So fashionable. That's what we gonna do. That's where I want her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That is so cute. It looks so much better in person because the lighting isn't too good on the camera so you can't really see how cute it is. But when I tell you guys, this is so perfect. I hate how the camera's not really giving me justice. Let me see if maybe, yeah, you guys can't really see the words, but it's so cute in person, you guys. Trust me, it's cute. Start here and then all the way over here and oh we are goodness. done. Y'all not done, actually, not done. Now we done. I still gotta put the little pillow things right there. We're probably gonna do some stuff. Obviously we're gonna do some stuff in the little walkway and then we're gonna do some stuff on these walls. But I know that I want something in this walkway. Why do I like this so much? This is so cute. I probably only like this dang red light because my face is so red. And so it's like making it seem like my face is not red. I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So it is late at night. It is the end of the night. I'm getting ready to go ahead and go to bed. I have had an amazing day. There's really nothing else to say. You guys experienced it all with me. It is currently 10 19. You girl is so ready for bed. I had an amazing day once again. Um, I didn't take anything out last night to like cook today because I thought that I was gonna go to a restaurant, but by the time I got to the grocery store to get the products, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm just not feeling the best. I'm just gonna order whatever the heck he wants to get from that restaurant. I'm gonna go home and cook something. Well, girl, I didn't take nothing out the night before. So I made this red beans and rice thing and I had like some sausage um, and so I grounded it up and I made it. It was like a super simple easy box thing um, and it only took 30 minutes so it was super super easy and good. Jordan liked it. I liked it. It was very yummy. And then I poured him a smoothie in one of my mason <laughs> jars and he was like it's almost like it tastes better in like the mason jar. I'm like honestly yes it literally does. So my smoothies are about to bang from here on out. I'm so grateful for my mom. I literally love her. She's like so much help to me each and every day in everything that I do. She's literally my best friend. She's like the sunlight in my life. Like obviously the Lord Jesus Christ, but my mom, she's my best friend. So I love my little team. Um, I really, really do love my little team. I keep a very tight knit team. I don't let too many people in. I don't let too many people in my circle. I was even nervous letting Jordan in my dang circle. So I gave it a lot of time and a lot of prayer. And I'm like, Lord, will be done. Anyway, with that being said, I'm sure you guys are like, girl, you are not hype right now. This is the more calm, mellow me when it's time for me to go to bed. Or sometimes when I have first woken up. Or sometimes I'll just have days where I'm just mellow the whole entire day. And I just do not even want to, like, get hype. So... I think it's good that you guys see the more mellow me anyway because as I get older, I think I'm gonna, like, calm down more and more. And I think you guys are growing with me through the years. And it's a beautiful thing to see. I even see, I've even seen how much I've grown in the last couple months. I've even seen how much I've grown, obviously, in like the last year or two and stuff. So all I can say is I'm very grateful for my life. I'm very grateful for Jesus Christ being my father. And um, anyway, with that being said, God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's time for your girl to go.